So who found him? Some old coot by the name of uh, Eustace Delafosi. He was up here hunting fungus. Yeah, he, he ran back to the ranger station screaming, he's a mess. Something about, not again, not again. Well, this is certainly one for the books. Books? What books? What are you talking about? There are no books. Well, what do you mean, what? These deaths, the murders. What's it look like to you? Well, it looks like his head's sucked in. Lipstick. This kind of looks like lipstick. Of course it looks like lipstick. His lips are all black and corroded, almost kissed off. 20 years in, I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, this is really bizarre. Don't touch him. What's wrong with you? That could be a toxic substance. Wait till the boys from the lab get here and figure this all out. They found the girl's body up over here. Lots of sticks back here. Look at this. She got that same sick smile on her face. Like they almost enjoyed it. Gives me the creeps. Sure does. Smile with no lips. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Looks like she put up a bit of a fight before she gave in. Damn. She was pretty, too. She ain't pretty no more, Junior. But look at this. Her head wasn't sucked in. What do you make of that? I don't know. Maybe the killer got scared off or had his fill with that stiff over there. So you're saying that the man was killed first? Well, we got two victims that we know of. One male, one female. Looks like we have a non-gender biased homicidal kisser on our hands. What do you mean? The male or female killer kisser kissed a male and female to death. Like steak and seafood? What do you mean? I don't get it. Like steak and... Never mind. What are you talking about? I mean, they was cooking hot dogs here. What are you talking about steak and seafood? A homicidal switch hitter. Oh, you mean they was killed by a baseball player? No, that is not what I mean. What? You mean it was one of those bilaterals? Is it air conditioned in your cave? Not a bilateral, a bisexual. And this has nothing to do with sex. And everything to do with bad taste in lipstick. Pagan passion number three or four. Yves Saint Jacques, definitely. Pay in passion number three. Say, hey, how do you know so much about lipstick? How long you been divorced now? Never mind that, never mind that. Is there any other evidence around? Oh, look at this. Yeah. There's a big pair of pantyhose. Pretty hairy pantyhose. Hairy pantyhose. Disgusting. Look at that. Perfectly good pair of sandal toe shears. Roof. Sandal told cheers. Hey, how do you know so much about pantyhose? How long you been uh, dating never now? Mind, never mind, uh, the board boys will be here any minute now. Get this place secure. So the legend is true. He never did die. It's out there, waiting, slobbering, puckering, kissing. It's back. Legend. What legend? What's back? Never mind. Secure the area, make sure the uniforms keep the press away. No one needs to see this. All right, all right, let's get organized. What we should do first is get all the equipment out here and make sure it's working properly, and then we'll finish packing. Good idea. Camera one? Check. Camera two? Check. Check. Soundboard? Wally, soundboard? Oh, damn it, my mother packed wool socks, damn it. I hate wool socks, they itch the hell out of me. I hate wool and I don't like sheep. You're a grown man for crying out loud. Why aren't you packing your own clothes? And there's nothing wrong with sheep. I'm not lending you any of my socks. 
I don't want your socks. Mind your business and go to hell, Graham. No, you lamb boy. All right, already. I'm sensing a lot of hostility here, and this is no way to start a documentary. Come on, we're a team. You said that you were going to be bringing food and feeding me, us, for helping you out here. And here's Wally's wool socks that he hates that his mother packed. Look at them. Don't take pictures of this. Tina, get out of here. Ooh, wool socks. Wool socks. Your feet are going to be so itchy. All right, leave them alone now, Tina. Shut the camera off. Get out of here, Tina. Shut the camera off. Don't waste your batteries on something like this. Who's going to want to watch this? Get out of here. Shut it off. We're not even in a car, and you're already talking about eating, so just... Shut up already, all right? All right already? We're not eating now. Well, we're supposed to be looking for this kissing monster that we don't even know if it exists. But we're looking for it anyway. And the only reason that you're using Graham and me is because nobody else would work with you because you're such a pushy son of a bitch and you've got a voice as pleasant as a cat that's been thrown in a chipper shredder and you make everybody sick. And why are you taping this? Nobody wants to see this. The creature does exist. I know it does. And shut up already. Are you finished? Just shut up, Wally. You just... You just don't know when to shut up. You... All right. All right. Now stop at the two of you. We're a team on this. Will you both shut up for a little while and calm down? Take deep breaths. Come on. That's it. Deep breaths and count. I don't want to breathe. Oh, all right. Okay now, that's better. The team, all for one, and one for all. Ooh, way cool. I am so sorry. I just get a little excited sometimes. Now hurry up, Wally. See, she's at it again. And you said that you were going to be the person bringing the food. And I didn't bring a lot of food because you said that you were going to be bringing the food. You said it. I brought food. Now shut up already. You shut up. All right, Wallace. You did say so, Tina. I heard her. And how could big could this creature's lips be anyway? Now, Wallace, let's face it. At times you are preoccupied with food. And I saw a news clipping last year with a picture that was taken at the murder site from when those campers were killed. It was a lip imprint on a nearby tree, and it was pretty damn big. Bigger than Mick Jagger's. Wow. As big as Jagger's? And I am not preoccupied with food. Yes, you are. I have a high metabolism, and I have low blood sugar. And if I don't eat, I could die. Is that what you want? Do you want me to die? Oh, shove it. That's a crock of crap. And if you die in the woods, that's where you're staying, because I'm not dragging your big behind through them. You're going to be worm food. And my voice is not annoying. I have a very lovely voice, and I'm not bossy. My mother said so. No, you could be pretty bossy, very bossy. And your voice is awful. You're much better to be around when you're quiet. Nobody even said anything about your voice. I'm telling you for the last time, I am not bossy, and I am not nasty. Now just get your stuff into the car, Wally. I have a nice voice. I have a very pleasant voice. No, just move it, Wally. I said now. Tuck in your shirt, you look like a slob. See, there she goes again. And why do you have the camera on? Like, why are you taping our argument? Who would want to see this? I said tuck in your shirt. You're not my mother. No, your mother's the one that's packed those scratchy, itchy socks that you hate. Yes, I hate them. I hate them. Get in the car, Wally, and shut up. There you go again. It's Wally do this and Wally do that. Shut up, Wally. And why do you have to be taping this? Shut up, Wally. Shut up, Wally. Let's go!